Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to do some more Epic 7 Guild War content. So hopefully the fights go well. We don't necessarily lose all of our units for stupid reasons. And you know, it just is good, hopefully. So enjoy the video. And here we go. Welcome back to another week of Guild War. We are against Paid Actor today, which is, I would say it's fitting because it's the first Guild War of the season. But yeah, it's... We're probably going to lose, I'll be honest. Oh, we're, we're winning, but I'm probably going to lose. Um, They are rank 1, so are we, because first guild war of the season. So, points do not matter. Everybody is everywhere, and everything is irrelevant. So, we're going to hit this tower first. We're going to see if it works. I think we'll be okay, but I have a sinking feeling that I'm going to double lose to this because I'm overthinking it and, like, trying to of it in a way that I probably don't need to. Like, I could probably speed cleave this on the bottom one, but... I'm gonna go Doris, Ravi, and Kaeron to be a little bit cringe. And just try and, like, tank, counter, kill stuff. Like, Kaeron might die, but he should be okay. As long as he gets one counter and he should wipe everything, it'll be fine. Uh, and the bottom team, I'm gonna go Zahak, Sid, and Watch Shuri, mostly because I want the speed imprint for Zahak to make sure that he... Can go first in front of this Bihu. Uh, Sid's gonna get pushed forwards. He's gonna do his skill free on the Bihu and kill it, ideally. Then hit the Basar and kill that. And watch sure he's here to finish off the Sen year after everything happens, I guess. Um, just pray that we go fast and we'll win. And if we don't, then I guess we probably lose. Let me show you the results of my research. Okay, Doris is faster than all of this, which is sort of cringe because that means I've brought uh, slower stuff for no reason and definitely could have speed cleaved it. But to be honest, I should have seen this coming. Time for death. Shall I let you dream and slash the dream? I just stun the Veldred, I guess, and fucking say no to that. Bye. There is no salvation. Uh, I'm just gonna swing. I sense gonna blind that. Oh, we're gonna miss. Prepare yourselves. Bop, bop. Uh, I guess we're just gonna. We're going to hit him and kill him. Kaeron's going to go for Kaeron. It's not going to kill Kaeron because we've got the immortality passive. Planned. And then Kaeron's going to choke him back and he's going to get the kill. <laughs> this is how you choke a man. Yeah. Yeah, which means we're easily outspeeding all of this, and I'm completely overestimating everything. Uh, Senya's probably just dead. Uh, she's got a lot more HP than I was expecting. Is it my turn? Excuse me. They should kill. We've got elemental advantage. Yeah. And they should kill. We've got, like, damage out the ass. And this might kill because it's defense pen. Oh, we crit as well. Yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah, so, um, technically, I overkilled that by a lot. But, better safe than sorry. So, one down, two to go. Let's see if we can win the rest of Guild War. Second fight of the Guild War. We're going to hit this tower and probably lose. I almost brought Quazu up top here, but then I re-looked at Flitica's stuff and realized she can reset my skill cooldowns to max, so we're not using Quazu. Instead, we're going to try and pray for Badka Arm and Kaeron to work together to allow me to do stuff. So the idea is that Badka Armin is going to get skill cooldown reset. She's going to need boots. Yikes. Um, do, 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 hit set. Ox lots. Yeah. The idea is that she's going to get skill cooldown reset, so she's going to be forced to use skill one to get the chance to provoke. She's going to hopefully provoke everything. 
is going to attack into her. Kieran's going to get be ready, catch him, counterattacks, and he's going to just cleave and murder the entire team. Uh, whether or not that works is not something I'm aware of, but we're going to find out. Does any of this need upgrading? I think he's alright for now, but technically all of it could be upgraded. I'm going to stop looking at this on video because I'm just revealing really bad gear for no reason. Uh, and the bottom team, we're going to see if we win this one. The idea here is that we've got Fighter Maya to hold out for any dark attacks from these two. Apoc Ravi for revival. Or when Selene inev uh, inevitably dies after turn one. And Selene to counter the... The Supreme Leader. Because realistically, even if the guild is dog shit, she should still go before these two. Uh, so Selene should get a turn in and either hit the Briar Witch and push forwards or hit the Bologna and push forwards. Then we kill the other one with skill 3. Then we uh, lose Selene to the Briar Witch, revive Selene with the Ravi, and then win. Is the idea. Uh. She's faster than the Lydica. I think that's 5% though. I think that's 5%. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It's fine, but I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I can stop her resetting me. I guess I'll try and stop her resetting me. I probably should have stopped the Senya from doing something there, but... She could just miss everybody now because she's been blinded by Charon. Did we break the stealth? We did. Nice. Choke this bitch then while we've got chance. See you later, alligator. Let me show you the results of my um, Do we full heal farming? I don't think we do. I think we just do that. Free blind. Provoke, oh my god. That's huge, actually. I sense new magic nearby. Um we we'll just go for another single attack, we should be fine. How futile disappears. Everything disappears. Your matter. Ah, blind. Miss, Pog. Are you ready? You're nothing but a plaything to me. Ah, no provoke. Uh, I'm gonna... I'll heal Doris. Because it'll push her back to the front. And then we'll be able to... Okay, maybe it won't push her back to the front. Oh, thank god. I wanted her to not die so bad. There we go. I went a lot better than I expected, honestly. We didn't get as many counters as I wanted, but we got, like, a few, so... Yeah, so she goes fast, as expected. The Bologna is somewhat fast, but... Yeah, we hit Briar Witch, which is also expected. And then we kill the Bologna, ideally. Now we inevitably lose Celine. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, since we didn't lose Celine, I'm just gonna. Goodbye. Wee. I was born to fight. gonna do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't get to see that very often, so it's always funny when you do. Deal with this. And then I guess I'll just do this because she'll die anyway. The pain. It'll be the last thing you feel. <laughs> I enjoy watching Maya do that. Honestly, it's very fun. Yeah, so that was that was easier than expected. So two down, one to go. Let's see if we can get a clean sweep for our first gold war of the seat of the preseason, at least. Final fight of the Guild War. We're going to try and hit this tower and see if we can do stuff to it. Uh, top team, I don't really want to fight, but we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to use Alencia for the injury stuff, and we're going to pray that it's going to be good enough. We're going to use Ray for the extra injury stuff, and hopefully detonate the rat as fast as possible. And we're going to use Doris to tank the Zeo, because we need something to tank the Zeo, because he's going to take a first turn regardless. Um... Desina can revive, but it's fine, because we'll just, like, re-kill them straight afterwards. And the bottom team, we're going to go for, like, pure speed. We're going to try and outspeed their speed with speed. I have just remembered that Ludwig isn't geared, so that's going to be uh, a potential stop and restart of the of the recording. Um, I was about to gear him, but then I got distracted by talking about stuff. We should be able to gear him quickly, but I'm going to say we're not going to be able to gear him quickly, so I'm just going to, like, pause and restart this in a second. Right, I pressed pause on that and unpaused, so I hope that doesn't break the video. If it does, then I'm just going to have to get this one from the thing. But we are we are back with the gear that's on Ludwig, so there you go. Um, and he needs book, which we can do in real time. Yeah, I can't remember where I gave it, where I put his gear, but I think some of it went to Sid. So, I could have taken from Sid and given him it back, but I would rather... And not do that if I can help it. Take that one because he doesn't need it. Alright, 165 speed. Good crit damage. Good attack. Everything is probably fine. He has crit chance. Uh, but yeah, we'll be fine. So, yeah. Ludwig, Amid, and Shuri. I think I showed them all already anyway. But go back anyway just in case. The idea is Amid will super push Ludwig. Ludwig will kill two things. We win. That's that's the plan. That took less time to re-gear him than it... Uh, needed to, so... Oh yeah, it was never going fast here. That's like 280 speed. Approximate. I study so that I can help others. Get the defense buff. I could have technically pushed with Wraith, but, uh, pushed Ray and then done some stuff fast, but I suppose it's not really that big of a deal. Christina does nothing. Right, do that. Scream at them to get rid of the immunity from the shoe. Take your shoes off. Let me show you the results. Uh, get in of her stack of venom there. The Detonate them now because if I don't, she's gonna be healed through the thing. Oh god. Zeo lags my game apparently. Uh, I guess we just kill the rat now. Because then it'll take her like a little bit longer to rotate back into... i say it'll take her a little bit longer to rotate back into a turn. She'll get it immediately here because of where she was. But... Yeah. Then we... I guess we hit the Zia. Okay. I guess we don't hit the Zia. You should really back down. <laughs> Do I look like a pushover to you? Okay, so now we, now we have to kill the rat because if we don't, she's gonna counter attack me and kill me, and we can't have that. Oh, you'll make an excellent specimen. Uh, Doris is gonna take a turn first, so we'll hit Zia and just sleep him. Yeah. I sense new magic near. And Doris can full heal herself. Don't back down. I'll grant you the power to fight. Thank you. <sighs> Uh, an extra heal. Kick this bitch. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Do you smell that? You smell that? Death dealer Ray. Uh, I'm just gonna 
throw the skill one with a bird and see if it sleeps or our kills her. Left her. Nice. Actually, exactly what we needed in that situation. Let me show you the results of my research. Uh, hit Zia. Kill Destina. Okay. Thanks for that, I guess. Anyway, second fight. Amid pushes forwards. Then Amid pushes the child. The power of the eternal cycle will revitalize the fallen. Let's begin. Hello, I am the child. I can see you. Stras is dead. Everything is dead. Sit on my chair and win. Disappear. Sayonara. I pulled my way. Look at how easy it is. You just push things and they die. So yeah, first guild war of the season, always good. We usually win these, and then we get stomped in the next one or the one after. So we're probably going to get stomped on Wednesday or Friday, which will be very fun. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed the guild war. We'll be back on Wednesday for more of this. Hopefully we get another somewhat easy guild war to, to deal with. Uh, probably not, though. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the fights, and I shall see you all in the next one.